their lovely P Politics from Nintendo Life here, and this is a bit of a rarity because I'm recording this on a Saturday, which is not something I've done in a very long time, but this arrived and I just can't wait any longer. I've got to open it up. For some reason on the side it says 11753 Leon S. Kennedy. I don't know what that's all about, but basically this has come from Capcom in the UK unsurprisingly, because that's where I live, and basically they just wanted to send some stuff over to do with Monster Hunter as a whole. I think probably because of Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, and I said, that's great, don't tell me what it is, because then I can say it's a mystery unboxing, but it did result in me really, really wanting to unbox it, so that's why I'm doing it on a Saturday. So, no more faffing around, let's crack this sucker open, why not? Uh, big thanks to uh, Josh, also known as Socks, who uh, is the kind chappy who sent this over. So, uh, big love to you, my friend. And uh, I can finally get this thing open. It's just as well I planned ahead, and I've got the knife ready, because otherwise this would be very embarrassing indeed. So, uh, off camera, because that makes the best, uh, the best video content imaginable. It is now open. I can't see what's inside, but you might have a... Oh god, it's still attached a bit. Come on, there we go. And that side as well. Right, well I can see there is definitely something green in there, but apart from that, I have no idea. So let's ah, open it up so that you can have a look and I can see on camera. This feels like a hat. Is this... <laughs> It is a hat! It's a palico hat! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna wear this. Ah, oh, there we go. My hair's been freshly washed, so uh, now that'll be, uh, I'll have nice hat hair for the rest of the day. But it would be rude not to wear a hat in a video where I've been given a hat. So let's have another feel in here. Oh, lordy, I think this is one of the monsters maybe from Generations or something. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. It look, maybe it, it looks a little bit like a Rhinoplos, but Rhinoplos don't have those long noses and they're not blue. Does it say anywhere on it what it is? It says Monster Hunter Made in China. So this is the Made in China monster. No, I still don't know what it is, but it is adorable. Like, maybe it's from stories or something because it's got a slightly more sort of cutesy aesthetic, or maybe it's just uh, not and it's just got a cutesy aesthetic. That is entirely a thing as well. Mm, very nice indeed. Have a look in here. Oh, t-shirt by the looks of things. I can't, I can't. Oh. T-shirt, marvelous. This looks like the um, very typical, ah uh, yes, it's got all the monsters on there. Say like all the monsters, it's got several monsters on there. Um, in a similar style to what they've used a lot. Uh, I always think of it as Monster Hunter 3, but I imagine it's been around for longer than that, and it's still being used. What size is it? Large! I can, ju I can just about get away with a large, although they do look baggy on me. It's quite nice material, actually. In fact, it's really nice material. Who made this? Gildan. Heavy cotton. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, I'm terribly sorry, but you will have been listening to really low audio quality. I, it's not something I can really reshoot because I've just opened it. Ah, for some reason, my audio recorder wasn't recording. I was so sure I hit that button, but um, yeah, so. Bad audio quality for the start, so sorry about that, but at least you won't hear that. Oh lordy lordy loo, let's have a look in here. <laughs> Now with some decent quality audio, imagine. Oh, 3DS cover plates, blimey, that's going back a bit. Although I actually do have a new 3DS, so that is very useful. And it's the Poogie, which is uh, most important indeed. Everybody loves a Poogie, don't they? What else have we got? This is containing a lot more stuff than I anticipated. Oh, what have we got here? This is, oh, this is a severed tail of a, I want to say a Rathalos, but I'm probably wrong. It might even say on the label. It's all in Japanese! So it looks like it opens up or something. Can I open this? Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. It opens up so you can store something in it if you wish. That's a nice little thing. I don't know what I can use it for, but it's entertaining. Blimey, there is a lot of stuff in here. Let's see, what's this? Oh, it's a pin. Pinny Arcade. Ha, that's like Penny Arcade, but with a pin. It's got a guild crest or something on there. I'm, I, I can't immediately recognize. Isn't that actually just the thing that's in the background of all the Monster Hunter logos? It's obviously very Monster Hunter in its style, and it's very nice. And the back, for some reason, 
rubbery little things, which is interesting. Rubbery little things. Very nice indeed. Ah. Oh, that's good lord. I, I, I don't want to look inside because there's so much stuff and I want it to... <laughs> well, there's some sort of, like, travel pass holder or something. With <laughs> that. <laughs> that's, um, functional. That's a very stretchy thing. I haven't seen one of these sort of stretchy type things in years. I didn't know they still made them. Um, so that is, I don't know what monster that is. It's going to really annoy me. It looks a little bit like a young cut coup, I think. But, oh dear, this is really showing that I missed generations, isn't it? Oh, I really wish I hadn't, but I just did. It's just another one of those games. I never got around to it. Oh my lord! <laughs> oh! This is the thing, I think. This is the signed thing. It's a bottle of Jägermeister, if you can believe it. I'm so annoyed. I can't work out what the signature is. Let me give you a nice, uh, give you a proper close up of this. I, uh, so I'm guessing this is when one of the directors of one of the Monster Hunter games came to the UK and drank a bottle of Jägermeister and let, signed it and left it. <laughs> oh, I can I can see why it's important that they uh, they want it back at Capcom, but. Blimey, I, I'm so annoyed I can't make out the signature at all, but it says Capcom at the bottom, so you know that's true. And this is from 2014 as well, so it's aged, and there's still a little bit of Jägermeister at the bottom. Is it, is it water or is it Jägermeister? I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to have to have a smell. It's Jägermeister! Whoa! Well, I'm going to pop this down and uh, very, uh, you know, put it carefully to one side so that I don't forget about it, because that is... That is something a little bit special in its own way. And there's still so much stuff in here, I can't believe it. What's this? What have we got here? It's still all in Japanese! I think it's some sort of a key ring or something. And it's, uh, again, the sort of the, uh, the sort of rune style of the monster imagery. So, um, eh, of the large monsters. Eh, where's my knife? I'd put it somewhere. There we go. Which one have I got? I'm guessing this is like a blind bag because it's got four different designs on the front. Which one have I got? I really hope it's one I recognize. Oh, oh God, I don't know the name, but I know the thing. And it's not even from a Monster Hunter game I've played, but I know it because I remember, I think I fought it in a preview session, but ah, that's gonna really annoy me. The name will appear at the bottom of the screen because it's it's the owl. God, I love Monster Hunter, but there's so much to remember. That's, is that just a key? It's like a key ring or a little charm or something that you uh, could, well, back in the day, put on your phone. People used to do that. It's really nice, it's really solid proper metal and everything. That's really nice. Oh, God, I've just seen there's so much more in here. I keep looking over to make sure I'm still recording audio as well. <laughs> Let me give you a brief glimpse as to how much is still in here, even though I don't fully know that myself and I'm specifically trying to keep my eyes away from the box so I don't fully see. That looked like a lot of stuff, but I don't even know whether it was in shot. So uh, we've got another hat. I'm gonna have to change that. It's another palico. That one is really adorable. I know someone who'll, uh, who'll really appreciate that. Hang on. Darling! Can you come in here a second? Come on in, come on in. I've got a hat for you. Oh, it's not this hat. Don't look in the box. I don't even know what's in it. Come, come into shop, come into shop. Come on. It's only briefly. I've got a hat for you. You'll love it. Okay. You've got to come into shop. Just your face, your lovely face. Hello, it's the morning, isn't it? Yeah. Is it too early? Yeah. It's too early. But I've got a lovely hat for you. And I know you're going to love it. Have a look at yourself. I'm a cat! <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I thought you would. She does like her cats. As indeed do I. Do you like that? You can have that. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye. And the saga continues. I didn't. This is going to be a monster of a video. I've got some. This is just some sort of cup. You'd never think, given the just the sort of status of Monster Hunter in the West, that they'd be anywhere near this amount of merchandise. But I suppose Japan exists, and this is just this is just a tumbler. This is just a tumbler with a load of palicos on it, and they're adorable. That's really nice. It's plastic, but it's functional. I suppose it's for children, maybe. I'm still going to use it. It just keeps going. What have we got here? This is oh, this appears to be. This is, oh, there's so many merchandise -y things that I just had no idea existed. 
Good lord, and it's full of stuff. This is, um, this is a, this is a rock, what kind is this? Is this like Macalite ore or something? Uh, no, I think it's better than Macalite ore. But yeah, it's one of the ores in the game. Or maybe it's just designed to be a generic sort of a resource point. No, I it's not a mining spot. It is one of the ores. It's, it's purple, and I really wish I could read Japanese. That's actually a really nice thing. It's really nicely molded. It's semi-transparent. It's hard. Oh, 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 that's two things. Don't want two things. Oh, oh, it's a Zenoga. It's a Zenoga, but it's the wrong color, isn't it? Maybe it says on the label. Oh, it is a Zenoga, thank Christ. <laughs> it's a gold, oh, gold thunder Zenoga. Oh, that'll be one of the later high rank monsters that scares me to death, so I don't do them. Not yet, anyway. But that's, that's actually really kind of adorable in a way. It's um, definitely kept the, yes, it's the asymmetrical horns. That's what got me. That's what reminded me. That's really adorable, isn't it? Look at it. You could go to bed with that and it would be all cuddly and you'd have to be quite properly cuddly. You could maybe balance it on your face, I suppose. Anyway, we've got something that's a little bit more cuddly. Oh, blimey, this, I'm going to have to look at the label for this one. This is a Yangaru, whoa, a Yangaruga. That's a, that's a monster I've never, never dealt with. But it's adorable in this form. <laughs> Look at that. It's even got the mouth going up like that. With all the little fangs going up. That's adorable. It's really soft as well. It's similar to uh, the Pokemon uh, plushes you can get. Which, uh, like the, uh, the the Litten one. That's really soft. I did that in a similar um, unboxing, mystery unboxing. But And we got another plush. <laughs> this is the um, uh, Shigal Magala. Oh, lordy. That's another one. Gener Generations just completely passed me by. I'm so pleased Generations Ultimate came to the Switch because I just I just can't play the 3DS for any length of time these days. And I think that's one of the re main reasons why it's sort of... I, I didn't play Monster Hunter after 3 as much as I would like. And so for it coming to Switch, it's such a blessed relief for these big old hand mitts. And again, we're going for a sort of slightly cutesy look, but not too cutesy. Not too uber deformed, um, which I like because if they're really deformed, it sort of detracts from what they are. So we've got we still we still got a fair few items in here. Oh, this is um this is a mega potion, mega potion keyring or charm again type thing. Mega potion or just I suppose potion. Um, it's the same symbol uh, for both, so I'm gonna say it's a mega potion because um that's the one I use. Is that actually metal on top? No, no, no. I was going to say that would be ludicrous if it was. Um, but that's actually, that's really nicely molded. Genuinely looks like the real thing. We've got this. Oh, I'm guessing this is a, a Palico USB stick or feline, not necessarily Palico. Um, I'm guessing the head comes off. Yes, it's been decapitated and the USB has revealed itself. I, uh, I wonder what the capacity is. Probably, um, it's, it's probably maybe like two gig, eight gig, something like that. Something standard, but, um, Still very useful. You can never have too many USB sticks, and that is an adorable one to say the least. Right, let's. Ah, what have we got here? We've got some flat things. Let's have a look at some flat things. Oh lordy, I've got <laughs> loads of. I'm guessing these are window stickers, and I can't name all of them. But uh, let's angle it so that it's out of the light, and it goes through. Got loads of multiples as well. Bl bl blimey, there's loads. Are there even, there's even more in here? Oh, one, one more, one more. <laughs> We got this as well. <laughs> oh, they had these. They had these at the um, at the uh, the press event I went to, and uh, I pocketed one um, because it's like it's like a little stress toy. It's, it's Monster Hunter World, um, but it's you know stress toy, and also it's um, it's the uh, lovely well done steak, or at least I assume it's well done and not over. What, what happens if you overcook a steak in the game? Because <laughs> it's been so long since I did that because it's it's so easy to get it right. And then it goes, so tasty. And it's very rewarding. Let's have a look. Here we got. Oh, one more, one more of these charms. Good lord. This is just a a complete blooming array. This is a book of combos. Book of combos right there. Don't know which volume, but it is indeed the book of combos. And it's really nicely rendered. So I've got these little bits coming out the side here. All these little like bookmarks and things like that. All of these items are quite small. It might have been better to do something up close, but um, we've made this bed so we'll lie in it. Um, and also it's a Saturday, so I hope you can understand that I don't want to spend all my day editing. Um, 
And now I believe we are on to, let me have a look. I'm gonna have to look in the box. Yes, we are on to this many of these key rings, these blind box key rings, right? So I tell you what, I'm gonna open them all up and uh, show them all off because uh, to open them all up on camera would take far too long. And this video is quite long as it is. I love them all and they're so high quality. They're all metal, all metal construction. They're beautiful. I think I'm definitely gonna have to use the Rathalos because I love the Rathalos. It's just such an iconic image. And yeah, it just looks like a red dragon, I suppose, but it's so special. It was the first time, you know, because I, when I was playing Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate and um, I was playing through with, I think I was playing through with friends at the time and we'd just done Rathians and we're doing all this, that and the other, done a load of bird wyverns and then all of a sudden it was just Hunter Rath uh, Rathian and it's like, that seems easy for this four star rank thing. And we went into it and, uh, oh, oh, a Rathalos appeared and that was, that was, that, that was a moment. That was a moment for me. So that's why I always hold the Rathalos very dear indeed. Well, colossal thanks to Capcom for sending all of this gubbins over. I had no idea I was gonna get so much stuff. I just thought it was gonna be a few bits and pieces, but no, they've gone above and beyond and sent me their entire stock. And uh, the t-shirt is something that I think is gonna get it's a special use because I do like how sort of arguably relatively subtle the design is because I love my gaming and I don't mind saying that I love gaming of course and playing games and all that good stuff but at the same time if I'm just going out and about going and doing the daily shop I don't want to be advertising something that's so blatantly you know gaming related I just prefer to blend into the background a little bit which goes against my job. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you shower that subscribe button with far too many beautiful all metal key rings, or just click it, whatever's easier. And be sure to check out nintendolife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Oh,